Uh, uh, can you go up and uh, just throw one of the uh, uh, the photos up? Um, uh, yeah, let me. Yeah, Ooh, just... do mine, do mine. Ooh, me, uh... okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and uh, just throw it up. All right, uh, so let me start by saying, obviously, uh, when I got up this morning, I was not at all expecting um, whatever the fuck this was. Um, before we even go any further, every and anything that we see, saw today, should not leave this room. Um, given the fact that we don't know what we're dealing with, and uh, whatever this entity is, we by no means have enough officers, equipment, or expertise to deal with it. Uh, had things gone even slightly astray, uh, we probably all would have been dead because that Gatling gun turns on, they spin it 360, we're probably all on the floor. You see that right there? Oh, can I, can I, uh, oh my God. How did you thing get is... that up there so fast? Look at this. You see that? You see that right there? Hold on. Let me paint it real quick. You see this thing? Little circle right there. That's, do you see that right there? That, that, that's a death machine. That's some heat. Yep. I stood down the barrel of. Now, um, what I think we should do here, uh, Tina Lane, huh? uh, let's lock this report down to you, Lane. Uh, commissioner and boss it. Um, and uh, that is just in the event someone else opens up this report uh, tomorrow and ends up passing these photos along after they get fired or whatever might end up occurring, right? Uh, last thing we need is, uh, you know, the rest of the city to start getting freaked out. Uh, anything involving what you witnessed today, keep it to this room. Don't talk about it too much, like inside your cruiser. Don't Bring up too much of it. Um, uh, you know, amongst anyone that wasn't here. Um, because the last thing we want is these guys coming back and fucking us up. Uh, with that said, um, Tina, what, what is it that you saw? Uh, we got into the alleyway. We took cover behind the stairs, uh, took pictures. There were at least three AK-12s from what I could tell. One yep. Tommy gun, a mini gun. The rest were walking around or too obscured, but they were at the very least um, automatic of some form and fashion. Mm. Uh, there were two or three suits uh, kind of looking like, you know, security guys of some kind. Uh, there was a gentleman in a vest, uh, military S, backwards hat. We can see them there to the left of the guy in the petticoat. His back is facing us, backwards cap. Um, he seemed to be talking with people. Uh, there were... The shots fired, um, then there was an individual in a suit crawling on the ground. Uh, they escorted him off to the side, out of view. Uh, so there was at least one injured person in regards to this. I can't confirm if there was a second person injured because we heard shots again, but I did see someone crawling on the ground again. Um, and right. they escorted him again off to the side. Um, um, there were individuals there present that we had, myself and reviews, we had been there like about 10, 15 minutes prior. Take the shots fired uh, report. Um, Carmela Corset was there. I can identify her personally. Uh, uh, individual who owned the apartments, Mr. K, still in the same outfit, and uh, a couple of other people. There was a guy with Wait, sombrero in the alleyway right called now? Pedro Lopez who saw and heard a little bit, but was shooed off by the people with the uh, big arms. So, yeah. All right. That's all um, I got. So let, let's break down why we did what. Um, obviously we can't have high grade, we cannot have, uh, civilians. I know, I understand that some of these individuals may have, uh, felonies, the ones that live over at the, uh, the pink cage, but that does not cha uh, change what our responsibility is, is that we are the front line between, uh, civilians, regardless of their criminal status and whatever elements may be attempting to hurt them. Um, we acted quite well there. We drove the threat out of the city. Uh, while I don't for a second think that we actually um, spooked them, you know, with, with our weapons, what we probably did is spooked them. Uh, they, they probably didn't want us catching them, right? Uh, finding out who they are, et cetera, et cetera. 
Um, what we witnessed, so I, I'm going to tell you how I ran into this. Um, I was patrolling up on Alta Street, I want to say, and um, I passed by the Flicka Bank with a speeding vehicle, and the guy started screaming that there's people with uh, big guns in the pink cage. I think he may have even mentioned Gatling gun. Either way, I fucking turned my head, and I saw pretty much this. Now, um, ultimately, when these uh, individuals left, it was one armored vehicle, I think followed by another two. So the Gatling gun was in the back. Two other uh, armored vehicles, or maybe blacked out vehicles going north. Uh, The Gatling guns... Armored cars? Okay. Yeah, all three were armored cars. Uh, the one with the gun was the limousine, and then there were two oh. uh, four-door sedans. One was occupied four times, the other time, uh, times two. Um, The Gatling gun ended up splitting off from the uh, rest of the pack, sent it up Los Santos Freeway, got onto Joshua Road, and at the Sandy Shores uh, airport, it was picked up by a bobcat. It almost looked as though it may have crashed out in the distance but i cannot confirm that um but uh so uh um, no, they oh, looked like they nash. almost crashed and then they managed to look back up pedro you, lopez said it... that they held nash up at gunpoint the the people at the ak so i think wait when at that the pink cage or k-town uh that was a statement that the guy in the alleyway said he said that he held up nash and the others there and they got chased off yeah, but also the helicopter seemed to have regained control after losing it for a couple of seconds. Okay. Um. They, they're gone. They're anywhere. All right. Uh, is there anything else we got to bring up? I mean, uh, obviously we're not going to really do much more than this, at least for the time being. Um. Did we, uh, did, did the individual stay on scene? Did you, were you able to get questions or statements or anything? Oh, uh, that's only... good point. Narumi, what, what did they say? So, uh, Pedro stated, uh, the guy with the sombrero basically stated Yo, that cha- he For the dumbasses in chat like, that are posting up meta, cars and everything, unless so you're looking to get ribosoed, I'd recommend uh, as you said, Donovan, relaxing. Um, was shoot away well, as soon as the shooting started, and he ran across to the other side, uh, where I believe he was talking to Staff Sergeant Lane. Uh, All the other individuals denied everything, as far as that I could hear, saying that they said, uh, we just got here, this, that, and the third, and with confirmation with these photos over here, definitely some of those individuals were definitely there at the original scene. Sorry, chat, you to witness that. They claimed to only just had arrived there uh, afterwards. After uh, we all cleared out, basically, and then returned back to the scene to collect forensics. Hmm. So I don't know if that entails that. Uh, sorry, go ahead, uh, Riker. Uh, I took a photo. I could see a sliver of the scene from where me and Haka were. Mm. Um, they did roll up after we approached. I was able to have Carmela provide her ID to me. I asked what she was doing on the scene. She said she just arrived. She didn't seem... In my opinion, she seemed kind of stirred, almost as, as if to shoo us away, saying that everything is fine. She kept repeating everything was fine and that she didn't see anything. But like as scared. you can see from the photos, she was there the entire time. I watched her walk beside the, the person that was being dragged across the parking lot, up to the car, and then back. And she's saying she's not, didn't see anything. Um, there was also, I collected the multiple DNA samples as well. So there was lots of blood on scene. Really? Yeah, they shot yes. somebody down, possibly too. By Did the, you uh, have, was there any 47s on scene? No. When we arrived no, there, I, there was no one. There was no one, but then again, there are lots of doors. And uh, true. they're locked. There was no obvious blood trails to any doorways. They were mostly clustered in the center and by the entrance. And there was a large cluster of projectiles in the middle, um, which would suggest someone had been shot in the middle of the square. That was something that I witnessed when I heard the shots and pulled out my camera. Mm. I saw him on the ground and uh, trying to crawl away, but they grabbed him. Uh, There's also the possibility that of the three vehicles right they could have loaded up whoever was injured even before we arrived 
Um, they loaded one person into a vehicle. Um, yeah. I did manage to take a, two photos of it leaving. Oh, fuck. I got the plate. All right. Um, you got the plate? Hard to Donovan? Make. Yeah, I took a picture of the back uh, of the vehicle. Uh, Narumi, uh, lock down the report with the, uh, you two, myself, and uh, loot LT+. Plus. All right. Done for. Everyone understands, all right? This information does not leave the room. Yes, sir. Got it. Yes, sir. Yes, Chief. <laughs> what information? Am I right? That includes you, uh, Lana. Of course. Why wouldn't Lana, say anything? Lana. Yep. What's the number one rule about Fight Club? There are no rules? No, don't talk about Fight Club.